and buns. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a personal question. <laughs> Your Hawaiian buns. Fitzwater. Here. Graham. Here. Henry. Hussey. Kemna. Here. Mahalovich. Here. Prather. Here. Schreiber. Here. Ward here. Wiseman. Okay. <coughs> Any directives from staff that I need to be aware of? Well, we've got the parking lot up if you mm -hmm. want to start deliberating. Is it turned on? Yeah, didn't we need to put the sales tag on Oh, we do have that already on their parking lot. There's is a separate page. Okay. I didn't have anything. Okay, so ready you have to go. Parking lot yeah. up and ready up, for us. Ready to, to go. And um, the council desire is has been to, as you put up something, you need to offset it with an expense or a revenue. Uh, uh, so um, if we want to hold to that, and um, we introduced a new rule last year, and that was if you can't come up with it tonight, we'd like you to come up with it the second meeting anyway. If that's the rules you all like to follow, we'll proceed in that fashion. And so we'll proceed. Councilman Graham. Mr. Chair, I guess I would like to help start this off. Uh, so I would like to add uh, $1.5 million to go towards stormwater. So I think they're getting, what, 300 and... 323 or 350 Matt what's the current budget for stormwater that we put every year it's it's out of the half cent sales tax 360 but right but what is that I think it's about 360 I believe. 360 so I'd like to add 1.5 to to that to increase that from from, from where could you specify uh, where? I'll probably pull it from fund balance Okay. Uh, does it, do we need a that's a motion second on that? I'll second that. Okay. We have a, a motion and a second. Um, let's have some discussion and well, uh, Councilman yeah. Henry. I'll start off discussion uh, and actually um, uh, thank you, Councilman Graham, for that uh, for that particular motion. Um, and I've had this conversation with. Uh, several council members the reality of it is with stormwater we need to get a jump start somewhere and I know uh, it's been t it's been discussed uh, the utility um, which I, that still needs to happen um, at this point I know I went through the budget book uh, I've discussed this with a few other council members um, trying to get that kind of money to piece together out of the general fund would just be impossible we just be piecing a thousand here a thousand there to try to do this um, I think at this point though we do need to get a jump start on this, um, and that would lead us pos that would lead us into figuring out how we want to structure the stormwater utility uh, for next year. But uh, I think this is this is uh, very much very much needed, um, and um, we just we have to get these projects uh, projects going. Um, I probably should have called for this. Uh, I have a point of order. Uh, this is a um, a, t a motion to take money out of the fund balance which is 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 that germane to our um, current discussion on the the mayor's budget yes okay uh, councilman Prather I too like to thank Carlos for bringing this up uh, if you guys remember most of you have talked to you about uh, doing this thing oh probably a month or two ago I said 1.5 to 2 million and uh, at that time, uh, I was told to hold off. Staff was going to look into this a little bit because it was brought to my attention that there's a list of priorities out there that they all wanted us to kind of go through a process of determining uh, if what amount we should take out because of these other projects that are in there. And it was brought to the public works, and I can't remember where it was left. But I still think we're still in the middle of that process trying to decide, prioritize uh, which projects we wanted so that we don't 
put too much toward one thing and, and then just not have any money to go for something else. So we never really finished that process of public works. I mean, if we want to do that process now, I'm fine with that. Uh, but uh, that process was not ended or completed, I should say. And we still have that list of uh, balance projects. And I'm all for putting money toward this, don't get me wrong. But I was told to hold back then, so I don't know what's changed between now and then. And uh, I, I, I'm, I was taking staff's recommendation that we should do so because they looked into this. So I'm just trying to get some guidance here as to what to do because we had this talk during public works and we never really finished it. Councilman Henry. Well, in regard, and in regard to those balance projects, quite frankly, stormwater should be at the top of the list. Why it's not, I don't know, but it should be. And so for me, uh, it's a no-brainer that, that it should be one of the top priorities that we have. Uh, when you talk about that list, Councilman Graham. Yeah, I, that's what I was going to say. I guess as we as we talk about this, I think the stormwater should be at the top of the list. I know that we, uh, I know I have. I can't speak for anyone else. Have heard from the uh, my constituents, uh, and I've seen these streets, and I've seen uh, the the stormwater uh, issues that we have here in the city of Jefferson. And at this point, three hundred sixty thousand dollars doesn't even put a small band-aid on it and I know we talked about possibly putting something uh, uh, or asking the voters to do something uh, but right now we need to do something and I think that add an additional 1.5 will help to start some type of process that we can show the citizens of Jefferson this is what we're starting to do but we do need um, more help more assistance uh, and that being whatever it may be uh, but I am all for putting some additional funds towards this much needed project that that we have to that we have to get done. Um, people are cringing; they're cringing when it starts to have a big rainfall, you know. And and they're, they're worried about you know the the, the stormwater, the, the drainage can they handle, you know. And like I said, our pipes they're old. No fault of this council right here that we've only put three hundred sixty thousand dollars towards it. No fault of ours. But now that we know about the issue and we don't do anything additional for this issue, then it's, then it's on us. Then it is strictly on us. It's this council right here. Well, you knew about it, you talked about it, but you didn't do nothing about it. And then it's on us. So that's my feeling on it, so. Councilman Prather, then I, Councilman I go Hayes. back to the right amount. I mean, if you're thinking that's right, what's wrong with two million or three million? Uh, I, I, I don't know where, and that's what I asked before. And I was kind of shot down in my staff saying that, hey, you need to hold off in this. And I'd like uh, staff to kind of chime in as to why these other things came up and uh, what their feelings are as far as priorities go, either Steve or Matt to kind of chime in to kind of help us out, determine amount that we should put in there. Well, I don't know if I can answer what the right amount would be. Um, you've got a list of projects um, that were discussed at one point at least. Would, would you all care for me to hand that out? Yeah, I have put it in your seat, so I don't, okay. yeah. Um, so certainly can... And stormwater could be a, a large amount. So it's, it just seems to me that the discussion about use of current fund balance, you're not talking about future fiscal 18 fund balance. You're talking about what we already have. It seems to me like that's a discussion for another day because it doesn't impact this particular budget. You're talking about general fund and the enterprise funds. Certainly can, but it seems to me like that's a separate conversation. Um, be that as it may, what's the right amount? I don't know. We've got so many priorities out there, some of which have been um, already committed, for example, fire station, but certainly could be different amounts. Just I don't know how you have that discussion now. But Councilman Henry. Well, the reality of it is I don't think there is, to, to even get a jump start on this, I don't think there is a right amount. Um, I've, I've had discussions with Matt off and on about this. There is really no right amount. Now, yearly, you would like to see, and you would like to see an average amount, um, which we don't know what that could possibly, we don't know what that is. Well, yearly, there should be an average amount, much more than $360,000, that's for sure. Um, again, 
Uh, the suggestion that Councilman Graham gave, I, I, I would have given him maybe a million, or maybe a million, but 1.5, even still out of the fund balance, this gets this just gets a jump start to what's already to what's already needed. Um, so to say what a specific amount is, that's hard to say with with every with the with the entire list of projects that's going on. So you can't. It, it would be hard for staff to give any sort of amount of money in terms of uh, how much. The 1.5 is the starting point. That's it. I think before you, before you is this list that was requested by the finance department, I thought, uh, to have staff take a stab at, I don't know if it was a stab at prioritization or just the things that have been talked about the most or what. So, um, uh, and uh, Margie, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, that the anticipated amount that we would have to spend that would still maintain a fund balance of 17% is like 1.7 million? No, I'm gonna refer you to your big okay, sheets at you. the back of your book. Um, under section one, where it's got the um, summary of the revenue and expenditures. The, the last part of that section shows the amount needed to maintain at least 17% fund balance is a little over 5.5 million. Oh, so the right. estimated over it, oh, the, the amount over the 17 percent um, is three, a little over three million. Okay. The section one of this large sheet. So it's the bottom number on mm -hmm. the left, right? Correct. And you know, I've, as we've stated more often, I think. Um, we really don't want to be at the 17 percent. I mean, that is the absolute yeah, I, minimum. I had my calculation down here at 20 percent. It's two million and a little over. So if we want, that's my own math. Check that. So the discussion of the right amount has to do with what projects you want to have done through the fund balance, if that's where we're deciding to take it from. Um, So, um, Mr. Fitzwater, Councilman. I just wanted to follow up with Councilman Prater. I thought part of the discussion at that meeting was also a prior prioritization of where the dollars would be spent, that there was a need of somewhere in eight to 10 million is what I'm remembering of projects that could possibly be done related to stormwater. And part of the question was, how would you prioritize within the needs and just the stormwater? Am I remembering that discussion wrong? I thought it was 30 million. Well, I think we asked them to come back and say, what are the critical needs? And it seems like it was in the eight to $10 million range. And then I thought at the committee, we said, you know, how, how would you prioritize that eight to 10 if we couldn't spend eight to 10? Am I not remembering that conversation right? Yeah, I, I, I don't got something for that. that. Piece of paper to you guys. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I didn't bring the list. It, I can't it recall was exactly, but million. we we came up with a fairly large list because it was it was kind of difficult to, you know, who gets the, you know, this is a complaint, and this is a complaint, you know, a, a current one or a flooding issue currently, and and so. Uh, uh, then we pared it down to about two million, and I think you know kind of said well you could really you know almost flip a coin on some of them but if you had to if I had to give you a two million dollar list I would and uh, um, Councilman Prather had a point of of one to reference this paper so I'll get back to you uh, yes the one that was given to us in the finance meeting was uh, neighborhood stormwater and it was two million four hundred two million forty thousand uh, it says uh, chickadee uh, air shell ridge Huntley, Mesa, Greenberry, Major, and Ism? Isom? That's what was given to us at the yeah. Okay. And that was just a number at that time. I mean, right. you could certainly pick a higher number and. Right. Councilman Henry. Well, and the reality of it is with these particular projects, obviously, um, we clearly have to put trust in, in, in staff and knowing what's priority and what's not. 
And so I don't I don't have an issue with that. All I know is is we need to get somehow a jump start on these projects and three hundred and sixty thousand dollars is not gonna do it. Hey, okay. I'm gonna reference back to um, the green um, this she done spending. Mm -hmm. And this is a list of fund balance pro potential projects and we know what we can spend on fund balance. It's somewhere in the neighborhood of two million if you want to take a 20%, a um, little north of two million at a 20%, or three million at 17% rounded numbers. Correct. Yeah. So, Councilman Graham isn't asking us at this time to prioritize these. He's just saying take, I think he's asking for, for the motion to go forward and um, take 1.5 out of this list, correct? That's correct. And then we can talk about the prioritization um, at a later date. But I am asking for the 1.5 to be placed and out of the fund balance current. Okay. Seems like we've had enough discussion. Uh, are you ready for the vote to whether I, or not we put it on the parking lot? I just have a comment that I'd be more comfortable if it was closer to a million just because we don't know what the other priorities are. Just, and I'm not sure this is the forum to really have that discussion. Like Steve said, this, this is really for the budget items, but uh, to start taking a whole bunch of money out and not having much room, maybe $500,000 left to spend for the rest of these items, I don't think that leaves us in a very good position. So I'd feel more comfortable with a, a million dollars or less to if we're you know, going to take a chunk out of that. Councilman Graham. Are you talking about this list of fund balance projects for consideration? C correct. Um, the top ones are already on the list to do. Uh, well, a lot of them are. The Downtown Street, Downtown Electrical, Columbia Airport. Uh, not that we've approved any of those, but they have been talked about and discussed and uh, also the fire station is probably fire that off a year or two too so do we want to do that and if I, it's, I would just also add in addition to fund balance you also have some sales tax you know the gleaning from F and that's another discussion for whenever you're going to have this discussion but Correct. that's a hunk and of money we as well about that stuff some already being promised a little bit to MSP so I'm not sure what we have left is, is, is a reason I'm bringing this up because we haven't really gotten into that discussion yet regarding what we're going to need for MSP, what we're going to need, you know, need for these rest of these projects. So that's why I'm just, just a little nervous about taking it all right now. I, I, I don't know what we need for MSP. I don't know that whatsoever. But I do know one thing. We have a need to address these issues for stormwater and right now. So if I got MSP and I got stormwater issues, I'm leaning more towards the stormwater issues. That's just me personally. And I could agree with you more. We need to do something toward it. I just don't know what the right amount is. And if you're saying that 1.5 will put us in a good position for everything else later, or you don't care about everything else later, that's fine. But I'm just I'm comfortable with 1.5 million right now. I could probably go for a million, but not a 1.5 million. Because I thought earlier you said you'd be willing to go for two. Before this list. <laughs> but, okay. All right. Councilman Henry. And to say what the right amount is, there is no right amount to jumpstart this. I mean, there's, there's just simply not. No, uh, Councilman Prather, no one can tell you exactly what the amount is to jumpstart this. So, so to keep saying that, th that, I mean, that's just kind of really a moot point because no one knows. You can't really say what the, what the correct amount is or what it should be. What I, what I would say is to this, and I and Councilman Graham can maybe piggyback off of this. The 1.5 is to get these to get what we already have jump started, which is what it, which we should which should have been done long ago, long before us, um, and we're having to deal with this now. So at some point, this has to take place, and we can't keep putting it off. Well, if uh, 1.5 you don't know is the right number, why isn't one the right number? Why isn't two the right number? I mean, why are we picking? Why are we picking one point five? Could Council, Council Lady Ward. 
I have a question in regards to one of the items on this list, the economic development project for 600 grand. What does that entail? Does that include MSP at all? No, that was a specific project that was discussed with you all in closed session, and it has yet to come to fruition. Um, you know, they made a request, and that I think they're still working on some specifics with that. I think it's fair to say there's not a lot of filter what gets on the list. There's a lot of yeah. filter for us to determine whether it goes to the top, and there's no prioritization below item four right and even even then some things have changed since yes. this list was done right. um if could i just offer a suggestion yes sir just throw it out there maybe you know you want to do something from column is it a or one S section one you know you, you want to have that conversation would it be helpful to go through and have the rest of the budget conversation and see if there are any other things that you want to fund out of fund balance and if so, then that may have some impact on, on what the amount is that you want to take for stormwater and then have that discussion after you've had all column two, three, and four discussions. Because there's some stuff at the bottom here, and maybe you want to fund some things in that column out of um, fund balance. I don't know. I'm, I'm fine with that, but can we just get it up on the parking lot? We because that really, the fund balance discussion doesn't have any impact really on all this. You're talking about taking money out of the existing savings account, not a future. If it was a future to come out of the uh, columns two, three, and four, you're talking about you already got the money, you already got a hunk of money. Maybe there's some other projects I don't know, but y y you've had a conversation about you want to do something with some stormwater. Um, frankly, I think we ought to think about a longer revenue, t a longer term revenue source for stormwater as well, but there's certainly some immediate needs. But you could kind of have the rest of the budget discussion and then come back and visit it and keep it up there and not forget about it. I'm not thinking Carlos will let you forget about it. but no. uh, I think the, the, the motion in, on the floor is, is to put it as, as it's stated. Um, every, uh, it, it is debatable and it is amenable until we approve the final budget. So if we're not having an amendment on the floor, I'd like to go ahead and vote on the amendment on the motion in front of us. Okay. That's for the 1.5. That's 1.5 1. out of the fund balance. Is that clear? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Ayes have it. Uh, we'll put that on the. Um, oh, oh, let's do let's do whoa, whoa, whoa. let's do a let's do a voice vote. Voice vote. I want it on the record. Voice vote. Okay. Division is called for, so we'll have a roll call vote. Um, clerk, please. Fitzwater. Hey. Graham? Aye. Henry? Aye. Hussey? Or Kimna? No. Mahalovich? No. Prather? No. Schreiber? No. Ward? Aye. Wiseman? Aye. Four? No. Or four, yes. Five, no. Uh, yes. Motion fails. Uh, motion fails. Can I just say one thing? Shame on this great. council. Shame on this council. You could still have the conversation, though, about fund right. balance, right? Right. At and some I, point. I still want to do something. And that's what I was trying to do. I just I didn't agree with the number. We need to have the discussion. And I wouldn't shame anybody here. That's rude. That is just rude. I wouldn't shame anybody here. We all have the same goal in mind. We are trying to do something. We know something needs to be done. But further discussion could be had. Let's not shame anybody for what they say here. That, that's, that's just wrong. Um, to answer Council Lady Ward's question is, uh, I, the chair called the vote as the chair heard it, and a division was called for, and that means a roll call, and it was reversed, the chair's decision. once their name was going to be out there. <laughs> uh, that's mm -hmm. a I don't, I think a division is a privileged motion. I don't think I could do much about that. Uh, Councilman Prather. I move that we move 750000 for stormwater. And I'm welcome to an amendment on there, but that's what I move. We move 750000 to take out the fund balance. There's a motion made. Is there a second? I'll second that. Motion made and second. Okay, we're prepared for some discussion. Right side? Left side? Mr. Kimna. Well, we're, st we're trying to figure out a, a right amount. And there's not a right amount. I get it. Um, and like Larry was saying, like we need to do something to push forward. My fear is we take 1.5 out. That, that cuts out the general fund in half. And we haven't even talked about the rest of the things on the agenda to, to really kind of understand, like, 
what we're looking at. And I'm new to this, so I want to listen to all of this. So for me to just throw this out there right away with not really, you know, a set idea, I, I, I'd like to hear more discussion before we really set it. You know, 750, I can, I can deal with that. We're taking a big portion of the fund balance and putting it towards stormwater. And we can always come back and have more discussion about it later. You know, even if we want to even address um, the stormwater assessment fee later, that's still on the board to discuss. I mean, it's not, it's not done. So um, that's, that's my mindset going into this. Council Lady Warden. Matt, um, thinking of our priority list and where the areas that have flooded, um, severely flooded, putting water in people's homes, um, what is the amount of one of those projects? Would 750 even cover that? Yeah, I mean, obviously without the I mean, specific, I hate to I put $750,000 in and we're doing Band-Aids again. You know, and I think when we went through the process of uh, the utility, it was it was based on you know some annual funding, which was significant, two million ish, I think was the number we estimated, and that was an annual for at least 25 years. So that's a lot. That's a big number, obviously, 50 million. Uh, so to you know, a smaller number, you know, that's a different question. Uh, there was discussion about maybe you could add a small crew just dedicated to stormwater in-house for a much lesser number and uh, you can make a lot of headway that way now when you talk about flooding there's all kinds of issues with flooding some of the sometimes the houses are just built improperly and uh, the council hadn't made a decision to actually you know, do flood buyouts or anything like that and that that number then starts growing pretty high so it's just every flooding structure is a different different uh, issue so a great big culvert vein uh, drain that you know is rusted out and is fallen in and there's a great big sinkhole in someone's yard. Just give us an estimate of what, what the dollar amount on one of those projects would be. Uh, just as a broad brush, if you need a number, you know, to get a crossroad pipe and down past two houses, uh, if you're going to bid it out, maybe a hundred thousand dollars as a rough number, depending on how big the pipe is, not complicated. And if you're doing it in-house, that's where you could save significant money. And we do do in-house projects too. So, just the you know as we as our crews work through. Councilman Prather, then Kimna, and, and then Henry. In th the point is, is this is a starting point. We haven't decided like uh, you guys said that there isn't a right number. So you can say this is a wrong number. I don't know. Uh, we can always come back to council next year if we find, for example, what the uh, Lincoln Street's going to be. If that comes in lower, then we're in better shape. But we still take that out of fund balance if we need to. But we don't know what those numbers are going to be, and we can always add to it later on. But I'm just I'm afraid of putting too much money in there right now and not having money to do the other projects that are necessary too. I mean, yes, I understand that some are more priorities. I understand that. And we can always take more money out of fund balance if we need to. But they can't do, I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, Matt, they can't do a million dollars all at once. Can, can you spend two million, two million all at once? Well, if, if, if you're asking me, <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. it, it takes some time to implement, though. Right, that's I mean, what my point yeah, is. I mean, it it takes could, some time to do these projects. You would have to either hire some consultants and do them quicker, or if you want to like we normally do them in-house so we can save some money it takes a little more time so we just have to clear the schedules you know it just it's all very that's the point I'm trying on trying to what make. our goal is here councilman uh, Kimna? yeah just so that I can kind of get an idea of what we're looking at so you guys have your top priority list of um, stormwater projects like you had a list like Mesa Isom um, Greenberry um, Chickadee Greenberry. Greenberry all these um, just off the top of your head, do you have an idea, like, because you've already assessed these, um, that these are problems. Um, do you have an idea of the cost behind some of those? Um, yeah, I mean, we have a large spreadsheet with some planning level costs, but, you know, it's not, um, you know, the goal was when we produced the list was to just give some ideas of how we could spend, um, I can't remember the number, it seemed like it was around two million or million and a half, whatever the number was. So we said, well, 
just on our current level flooding and complaint, you know, we come up with a much larger number because there's no way to weed it down. I think it was closer to 10 million. I think Ron was remembering better than I was. But, uh, and then he said, if we had to be pressed to get it down to 2 million, here's, here's some. But I know some people had uh, issue with the list at 2 million. You know, you know, one person said, well, this one's not on the list, but that one is. And, you know, I mean, you could almost flip a coin. I think I had an email to this effect. Um, so it, it's it's kind of a, a difficult deal when it's a one shot in the arm. Certainly, we could get do make some headway and spend the money. There's no doubt about it. Uh, but you know, with that consistent money coming in year over year, is how we really get to work our way through these in a logical manner. Council so again, and so again, it's 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 about the shot in the arm right now. Um, the stormwater utility idea hasn't went away. Um, somehow we need to figure out how to make that happen and get that on the ballot in April. But this is the shot in the arm right now. And that's, uh, that's the whole purpose of making of the original motion um, to give that shot in the arm. So no, nobody knows what the, but they could eat up one five in a heartbeat. There's no doubt about that. If you look at that list, this, and I, this is a list that I've seen since what, since spring and it keeps adding on since last, last spring and it keeps adding on. So that's the shot in the arm right there. So the, the stormwater utility idea, that's never going to go away. That we, need to, we need to continue that conversation. S Steve has mentioned it because we do need a long-term solution um, and a yearly where we have something coming in yearly um, just for that, um, for these issues. Seeing no further discussion, uh, I'll go for a roll call this time on the motion before us to put a... 750,000 750, from fund balance. On fund, 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 rum, fund balance, excuse me. All those in favor, uh, excuse me, roll call please. Fitzwater. Aye. Graham. Aye. Henry. Aye. Kemna. Aye. Mahalovich. Aye. Prather. Aye. Schreiber. Aye. Ward. Aye. Wiseman. Aye. Motion carries. We got us a parking lot started. And we're in balance. Two good things. Uh, the floor is open for other uh, budget amendments and our discussion. Or adjournment. <laughs> 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 or just a motion to pass the budget. <laughs> Council Lady Ward. Um, regarding our Planning and Protective Services Department, I would like to um, add the Planner 1 that they had suggested as a top priority that wasn't funded. Um, we've heard from staff um, that there's a lot of areas that are zoned incorrectly. We also have a lot of plans out there that haven't been able to be worked on or implemented. Our comprehensive plan, the east side plan. Um, we have the south side plan uh, coming up. And we've also have learned that um, areas like our downtown um, has no protections in place right now to protect it from any type of development that wouldn't be conducive to to the um, environment and atmosphere of our downtown okay for my uh, uh, where is that on the green sheet uh, on the summary sheet it's under section two um, Toward the end, says planner one or two, seventy thousand four hundred dollars. Okay, got it. Okay, so the motion is to uh, fund the planner one or two position at seventy thousand four hundred dollars. Do you have a second? Second. Okay, we're prepared for discussion now. I think we had some. Do you know, have an offset at this point? I do not. I, I've discussed with staff possible uh, possible offset, but it would just be twenty five thousand, and that was of the um, truck that was funded. Um, it is running and in use, um, so that's that's a possibility, but. 
if we could keep the equipment you know up to date I would prefer that um, so I'm, I guess I'm just suggesting fund balance at this point are you, are you making that as a part of the motion or you, is this a part of the discussion okay Councilman Prather I would lead against fund balance just because that position is an ongoing amount that we're going to incur every year where the fund balance is a one-time shot and I guess I have a hard time uh, <laughs> you know if you're gonna look at hiring I think we're really in need of a mechanical inspector and also a building inspector which is also gonna bring in more money to the city but those weren't funded either so I, I have a hard time prioritizing which would be more important although a planner would bring more money into the city too it would it would improve our urban core our, our areas that have been neglected it would help with planning that like we're doing on East Capitol and we all know the time that that took just one staff person um, so everything else has to fall to the wayside on the back burner and I think we all want to be able to support the south side plan again that's an area that has been neglected and we have some businesses in that area that would like to see that happen that are contributing to our city Any further discussion on this item? Councilman Prather. I want to make sure that if we don't come up with an offset tonight, we would be able to come up to the next meeting or the meeting after, or however, whatever. Well, it could be the meeting after. I guess that would be a week, two weeks later, a week later. Would be the meeting after, would be Thursday night's meeting? Is that how it works? That's, that's my desire. Give you some time to work it around, talk to staff, talk to other council. And if. Uh, you can ask for our indulgence and go a third week, I guess. I mean, it's, it's your all's rules. I'm just kind of seeing what I can do to facilitate how you'd prefer to move forward. But uh, if if I were to choose, I'd hope that you'd have an offset by, by this Thursday. And w would we likewise be voting on that offset? We'd be voting uh, up and down any one motion at a time. So we would vote, okay. we could vote it up and knowing that we're out of balance on our budget and then know that uh, we're going to have a balanced budget by the time we get done. Okay. Thank you. Okay. If there are no further, uh, Councilman Graham. If there's no further discussion, we'll go ahead and uh, vote to put this on the uh, parking lot. It's um, Planner 1 and 2, 70,400. Um, all those in favor say aye. Oh, excuse me. Yes. For Steve, it's planner one or two. Uh, why is the the amount, the salary amount, the same? I would think planner two would be higher. It would be. I, that's just um, kind of within the range of what we were talking about. So. Okay. For, uh, Councilman uh, Fitzwater. Just a process question. If something goes on the parking lot, then gets approved, and we don't find the offset, then where is it funded from? I think uh, I think the, that uh, the preference would be for us to remove so items off the off the uh, parking lot until we balance the budget. So if we can't find offset or some revenue source, then we would. My proposal would be that. It isn't funded. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. I don't see any further questions on the motion before us. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Okay. Uh, motion Boys. fails to get on the parking lot. Next item. I will say you can appeal the decision of the chair. I'll let you have that. It's been done before. Council Lady Weissman. Yes, thank you. Um, there was this year, I, I'm sorry I pulled up the 2016-17 budget, but this year there was an item put on by transit for a month of free um, a, a month of free ridership and I'd moved to put that onto the parking lot with the notation that last year 
we had a similar proposal that was a pink sheet item that was not funded that had a zero cost to the council so I'm not sure that and, and I was hoping that maybe we could have a little discussion on this maybe we could have a second first however you want to deal with that could you restate your question for the clerk? This is a motion to put the month of free ridership for Jeff Tran on to the parking lot. Okay. That would be my simple motion. I'll okay, I okay. have a motion and a second to put Jeff Tran on. And, and then that, that about is how much? Uh, I, I, this year's cost was $11,000. But I know when I look at last year's pink sheet item for the 2017 budget, that there was three months or three one month periods of Je Jeff Tran um, as a promotional period at no cost to the city council and and I'm curious if if there's a way to itemize that or if I or if I we even um, reduce that a little and I was hoping that Mr. Marash could talk to us a little bit about that uh, a little bit <laughs> So what we did this year, I can't remember exactly last year. I'd have to look at the sheet and try to go back and figure out what we did, um, unless someone else here recalls. But uh, the uh, I think we just looked at our revenue and said, okay, uh, if if we were to lose roughly a twelfth of the the uh, the revenue, we we estimate a little high too, probably on the eleven thousand dollars. It's a guesstimate, really, and. Uh, Quite frankly, we said, well, it could be a month at a time, or you could break it up in four weeks or something. I think, I think the number is eleven thousand dollars. We said this year, as I recall. Yes. And, um, but I'd have to look back at last year. So you know, there might be some impact, uh, up or down on that, actually. So my proposal, and I guess my advocacy for this would be, I think that I would like to look at specifically um, between now and not this Thursday, but the following Thursday, that some of the times that maybe we have some lower ridership and maybe even reduce this if this really is going to be a direct $11,000 cost, reduce it some, but I'd like to look at some times that we have some lower ridership or traditionally have had lower ridership and allow some free rides during that time to hopefully increase or give that promotional period, ultimately hopefully increasing that ridership. We have a motion and a second with regard to $11,000, a pin sheet item 405 on page 284 is my count. <coughs> for further discussion and offset, not for this Thursday, but... The following Thursday, so that way hopefully we can maybe pin down some lower ridership times, so that way we can maybe pin down maybe a, a lower... A lower amount to offset or even a lesser time to offset uh, councilman Henry and, and actually I would really like to hear from uh, mr. Mamern in that regard because I, he came up with this number for a reason and so I would I would really prefer to I, I wish he were here I, we need to really hear from him in regard to how he came up with that eleven thousand dollars because it was it was clearly a reason I can't think of it I, and I've talked to him about this it's not it's not registering to me right now what it was but there was a reason he came up with the eleven thousand um, dollars for that reason that's for those reasons that you're mentioning Aaron so I would I would really like to hear from him okay do we want to put it still on the parking lot do we have a motion on the floor do we want to put it on the parking lot and then hear from him yet I would like to do that. I would like to go ahead and put it on the parking lot for now um, so that way it remains a, an item that we're thinking about and talking about to people. And then if it turns out that it's not feasible, I would like, I will move to remove it from the parking lot on not this Thursday, the following Thursday. That is, that is my wish. Okay. Any further discussion? Motion to put uh, eleven thousand dollars on the parking lot uh, to be discussed, uh, and offsets found in a week from now. Wow. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Uh, nays. Ayes have it. Another parking lot item. Okay. Uh, 
Mr. Chair. Other ways to get there, okay. Yes, sir. I just want to point out that that would increase the subsidy from the general fund. Explain <sighs> that, please, for me. If there's 11,000 less in revenues in the transit section, the transit subsidy is already over a million dollars. Yeah, that's why I didn't include any of those items for airport or transit is because you're already making a contribution from general fund to those two entities and any changes there just increases um, that, that contribution which in essence reduces the fund balance usage there. However, another way to do it is to go through and find some other um, you know, expenditure savings or revenue increase. Maybe the, motion the other piece that I would just mention is we do have a consultant doing um, a review, and I haven't seen anything um, from them yet on uh, any of the um, route analysis or anything like that. But I think maybe the motion maker might want to talk more with you and then prepare uh, this information for when we discuss it with the uh, with uh, either transit director or be prepared to talk about that. Then. Yeah, right, and it was a factor of you know how many you know, our revenue now I mean it is a guesstimate you don't know and the result would be the, the increase in the funding, yeah. in the funding from the my thought was just funding. staff come back with any or all of those that you know throughout the year whenever that may be and, and justify um, that expenditure to council based on the circumstances that are going on at the time but you know either there, there may be something there again these numbers were done several months ago and maybe there's more current information that would be beneficial. Yeah. Appreciate that. Uh, Councilman Henry. I mean, in, to me, in that case, $11,000 is small enough to where we can come back and revisit that um, if uh, Mr. Mamer wants it, uh, obviously wants it that, uh, is in need, in need of it that, that much um, in order to, to, to make something like this work. Um, so, I'm, I mean, I'm fine either way, but um, I mean, in lieu of that, I mean, you, you are pulling more from the general fund, which um, which is already, uh, you're already pulling, uh, subsidizing anyway. So I, um, if this is something where we can revisit, I'm, I'm okay with that. But I, I, I do agree with uh, Councilwoman Wiseman that uh, it's, it still needs to be revisited and we still need to hear from Mr. Maymard in regard to how he came up with that $11,000. Okay, the floor is still open to have any suggestions or motions made. Councilman Graham. I have a question for Chief Schrader. Chief, could you uh, uh, tell us a little bit more about the, M the MDTs and the importance of, of that need, which is the mobile data terminal? Um, there's a certain lifespan predicted from the very beginning, and they've exceeded that lifespan, and um, maybe if there's going to be discussions in the future, that would also be a time I could bring somebody else with me that would be be able to provide the more specific information. I'd be a suggestion uh, because all I can do is repeat kind of what I'm what I'm told, and I don't have a lot of the specifics that someone else could could offer you. But the time the time for their expiration has passed. We purchased all of those as part of a three-year grant program that began in 2009 and extended through 12, I believe, because it actually took four years to fulfill the, the uh, federal grant. And so as it's, um, I believe we have 29 that require replacement, so we had planned for a two-year replacement this year and next year, and so we actually have 29 that have run their course. So can that be pulled from the uh, sales tax? Since that's if a they need to be replaced, so yes, if if they're not funded through this process, then that's my alternative. Is there a, is, that is the alternative yeah. that we have? Although there's finite number of dollars there, and we right. we already have all our you know plans for each dollar. So add some other expenditure in, something else has to come out, but it can be done. Okay. Any, any further questions and are things to discuss on the parking lot? Any 
the items for the good of the order. If, um, I, I don't have anything else. I mean, <laughs> okay. I don't. Um, if we don't have anything to discuss, yeah. put motions forward. I, I, I'll, I'll say it again. I said it every meeting, so I'll, I'll just say it again while we're at this point, and that is that all everything on here is important. Um, certainly, um, you know, positions and and certainly um, the equipment. I do think we are underfunding the um, salary portion, and certainly would think that. Um, you know, a, a another percent or two would be appropriate there. How we go about funding that, I, I don't know. That's a certainly an item for conversation, but <coughs> I just want to make sure I've, I've said it. Okay. Appreciate it. I think there's still more discussion to come. Um, uh, so um, I'm going to entertain any motion on the table, or I'm going to call this meeting uh, adjourned. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed?